is a can-do person and she has always come from a strength of believing that where she can make a difference, she will make a difference. And I think she's done that both in her professional life and in her personal life. Becky, as long as I've known her, has been committed to doing her part. And you can see that in the way she gives her time freely, volunteers, whether it be on boards, on committees. She's always out there to give. I first came in contact with Becky when I was on the board of the uh, Howard County Tourism. And one of the things you know about Becky immediately is that she is very, very um, strong in her beliefs and she's very strong in her support of the community. And sometimes people overcommit. They're on a lot of boards just to have the name on the plaque. But Becky's one of those people that if she says she's going to do something, she will do it and you don't ever have to worry. It'll get done and it'll get done very well. Well, again, several values that I think are so critical for the success of the nonprofit sector. Um, commitment, uh, ability to work. She won't join an organization unless she um, can do what she says she's going to do. We don't need to worry about Becky and following up on anything that she says she's going to do because she not only brings herself, but she brings a, a dedicated team of family and friends. Becky is my friend, my confidant, and someone that I view as a role model here in this community. Some role models and leaders have titles, and I know that everyone associates Becky with the Business Monthly, and as do I, but I think even if the Business Monthly weren't here, Becky is one of those leaders and movers and shakers here in the county. I think I volunteer because I can, um, because again, it's the right thing to do. I enjoy the different, I, I'm a journalist and part of being a journalist is not necessarily specializing in any one thing, but knowing a little bit about a lot of things and getting more in depth and knowing more about um, things, you know, I've had people say, well, you don't, this isn't your specialty, how can you write about it? I said, well, I'm a specialist in knowing what to ask and the questions. So Becky is what we call the tree woman. Um, to tell you a quick story, um, we donated 100 trees to surviving families and to people who lost family members that were part of uh, the center and who used the center. Um, and so it was a very cold two days in November and we were having the families pick up those trees. Well, at the end, there was about 20 trees left over, so Becky and her husband drove up with their van, with the trailer, put all the trees in, and delivered most of those trees directly. It's a true honor to receive a, vol a Volunteer of the Year award, but I have to say, when you get Becky, you, you don't just get Becky. You get my family, my husband, my children, you get my business partner, you get my friends, you get my, the people I know. And when I ask people to help out with doing different things, everybody's, yes, absolutely, I'm willing to do it. I'm ready to do it. Tell me what you want to do. And I think that that's what's really important. So I may be getting the award, but trust me, I'm sharing this with a huge number of other people who are just as deserving to be sitting here.